Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial for the STM32 F1 and in this video we will be talking about the um, cystic timer, the interrupts. Uh, in the previous video we have been looking on generating a delay function using the uh, cystic um, timer. So I'm still having the, the circuit of the previous video and also the program. So if I'm clicking in this button and we will have this LED shining, the red one shining, to show that we are going to the blinking mode. And um, as soon as we I will I would push again, this LED will be n will not shine anymore, and the blinking LED will not the the green one will not um, b um, blink anymore. So if I click again, it would take a bit of time, and yeah, we see that this LED is, has stopped shining, so we, we left the, um, the um, blinking mode. So now we will still using the same, um, the same circuit, but we will make a different program that will make the green LED blinking, the LED here blinking, and um, within our main program, as soon as we push the push button here, this, uh, the red LED will start shining. Okay, so we will need one input for the push button to detect that uh, we have a, um, a high level on that pin and also we will need two output pins, the red one and also the uh, PC13. Good, so that will be the, the exercise we will be using to, to understand how to use the interrupt and what are, what are the benefits to, to have this kind of configuration. Uh, before to do so, um, I would like to get back again to the um, cystic registers. So let me go to the document we have been uh, um, working for the cystic part. So this is the programming manual as I described in the previous video. And let's go for the cystic register. So uh, I will be looking to the control register and the load register. So let's start with the control register. As you probably already seen, as soon as we set this register to 1, we are going to enable, so the bit number 1, we, we will going to enable the interrupt mode. So within this, with uh, setting up 1 here, as soon as the, um, the, the load register goes to 0, then we will be, um, uh, sorry, not the load register, the um, count register, let me remember the name. Yeah, the value register will be uh, set to, to zero. Then the uh, we will get back one here, and when we will do have a flag one, th we will have an interrupt, and um, we can have a, a parallel thread. Okay, so that's the first point. The second point is to to, to give you an insight about um, the 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 power of the cystic timer. Actually, the cystic timer is a three-byte register, which is quite huge, and um, it allows us to have a certain delay. And so, to understand more about this delay, so it goes from yeah from zero 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 one to um, we have here six Fs. So I made a small uh, graph to to give you a better explanation. Um, so ima so let's say we do have a clock speed of 72 megahertz. This means we have 14. The the one cycle takes 14 nanosecond. So for 72 meg uh, megahertz speed, so we have one cycle. The only one cycle, one clock cycle is um, 14 nanosecond. Okay, and our lo load register, the maximum value is the 6F so or the um, 3 byte, which is around 16,700,000. If we we use this two parameter, the maximum the maximum time of delay we could have is to around 233 millisecond, not even one second. So that's the maximum value the interrupt can can reach. So every maximum number of 233 second, the int we, we may have an interrupt. We may, if we decrease this number, if I put F, F only, okay, the number is too small, but uh, if I add further, okay, it's a really small number. So if I put F, F, F like, like this, 
we may have a, a smaller number here but you can use of course from 1 to the 16 million uh, number that we, we had so another F here yeah and to get back again to, to our delay function just for your information um, so we used a iterative uh, function to generate for each millisecond so the first thing we have done so we we choose uh, I will put the decimal number I, I choose seven seven million two hundred I think no it was this number so one millisecond and w using this one using this one we can if we we can have like iterative number and if we have a 32 byte register it means unsigned long which which give us 4 billion number up to 4 billion so this take us to 50 days delay so we can create a delay function up to the 50 days of course if I increase here to let me put it again so let me go back yeah to the maximum number we have 11,000 583 days of delay so this is quite very powerful but I, I don't believe that um, we need to have a, such a delay function which is more than 30 years good so now that you you, you do understand what's happening uh, about the delay cycle let's go to the program and start writing uh, some code to see how I can make blinking my LED using the sysdict function Good. So yeah, where is the program? Where is the program? Yep. Good. So I already prepared the the uh, the main page, and also I added the JP Drive library that we have made together. Um, so um, let me first start by um, putting the uh, the input and output. Uh, as I told you, we have an input, and in the circuit, it's the uh, um, port A pin 0 so init JP yeah that's our function PA pin 0 and we would like that would be an output of a speed of 50 I always put the maximum um, and we would like an output a general purpose with uh, push uh, um, push down a uh, resistor good so oh no sorry sorry the, the uh, port A pin 0 in my circuit is an input so I just I put in and here it just an I with um, pull up pull down res um, a resistance good so the, the, P, the, the port A pin 0 is an input mode with an input pull up pull down option the next one we have two, two outputs the first is the init JP so let's stay in the uh, port A I have chosen the um, pin number 12 you can choose whatever the pin you want this is just an example for the circuit I, I choose a random one just to to, to to be fair with the function and we would like to have an output output 50 the maximum speed and it will be an output general purpose pull up pull yeah good and the last init func so init will be the same but the port C and the um, pin 13 good so now now we have um, set up our um, our port let's start making the interrupt to start the interrupt function for most of the STM32 um, or even the arm you start putting the function disabling the IRQ function so disable IRQ good and so it's it should be and when we finish our programming we put the enable IRQ so enable IRQ okay a different thing against the previous function we have written the the cystic as it is really a norm related uh, f a timer you don't need to use the envic function to enable it so you just set up the registers and that's all it's that easy so um, let me start with putting the cystic yes cystic yep cystic 
and first the control we have to set up the control for zero always put the the control register zero before configuring configuring it and then sysdic yeah one day i have to, to, to learn write it correctly so i have to put the value zero for the counter the value no sorry before the value load and for the load value what i would like to put here is 70 to 7 million so to have a, a very fair number uh, put 7 million 200 thousand so one zero is missing minus one okay with this value i will have 100 millisecond uh, a delay so i'm putting my initializing my value to uh, zero so we can start from really zero equal zero and finally cystic um, control so now we we are enabling our um, enabling our um, our interrupt our, our or our timer and interrupt and everything and here we are we we have set up and prepared our um, interrupt uh, coming from cystic great so now as we have set up the interrupt let's go to the function and void so this is the interrupt function cystic uh, I hope I write it correctly and then handler okay void nothing to put so what I'm going to use Okay, and uh, I will put, uh, yeah, toggle, um, yeah, toggle GP, so I will be toggling the PC pin 13, so I would like to toggle. Okay, so let's save, run, good. So before starting to upload in my, um, my um, the the circuit let's take a look and have yeah simulator okay let's simulate okay it's open and if i run here nothing is happening okay we i see that my setup is working properly but something is getting wrong let's check uh timers not a timer something is getting wrong let's take a quick look oh yeah oh yeah of course um the t must be um an uppercase should be fine now let's have a check okay yeah cross finger and yeah it's working wonderful wonderful you can see that now the, the, the pin is blinking without any issue. So this is simulation mode. So let's take a look to our system here and let's upload. Yeah, and we do have a blinking um, LED, that's fantastic. Great, so now we have a blinking LED, but come on, uh, we, we can do a bit better. So the first advantage you can see here, you have something happening out of your while loop so you don't even touch the main program so your system is doing something out of your main program so which is really great so let's let's do something like very interesting um, i'm joking let's write as i said so let's write in the general purpose for the port a pin 12 the value we will be reading, so reading from general purpose, the port A zero. So this is two function we we, we created um, the during the uh, GPIO part of this tutorial. So let's save and upload the code. So normally after uploading this code, we should um, as soon as we push this push button this LED should have the same value let's try yeah 
And you can see that I have two things almost going in parallel. I have my main program working and I have my blinking LED. So this is really powerful um, um, tool to use at uh, this timer. This is the strongest timer that um, it doesn't have so many options so we will go through the um, timer in the next videos but this one is the one with the longest delay. I think that's all for this video. I hope you, you like the content. Uh, please put a like or subscribe. Um, the next videos will be more about the UART and USART, so we will start really having the communication with the computer and understanding more how to, um, to make some communication with other devices. Thank you a lot and stay tuned. Bye!